this is one of those things where to make that great comedy, you've got to follow a little bit of the formula. I'm not really a big fan of romantic comedies in general. Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Movie Feuds Presents Real Time Reviews. Stampede this- on the horizon. Simba's down there in 3D. Really? Well, that's right. One of us went and saw Lion King in 3D, and uh, it's because Adam doesn't go to new movies anymore. Adam doesn't like blowing $20 on a movie you could buy at the Walmart dollar bin. Lion King in 3D was a big movie, and we wanted to go big for this review. So what did we do? We sent all of you guys 3D glasses in the mail. That's right. This episode's brought to you in 3D. Corey <laughs> sent out the glasses a few days ago. I did it. So I actually thought you were sending the glasses out. You, you didn't send them out? How was they supposed to send them out? I don't know their addresses. Oh, uh, no. Well, if anybody's in the market for about 150 glasses... Um... 150? Try three grand worth. Oh, my God. I put a lot of money into this. This is a big deal. We're, we are out a lot of money right now. So about a month back, Corey and I pitted Lion King versus Aladdin, me favoring the old lion. Ironically, Corey's the one that ended up seeing in 3D, because I don't like paying $30 for a crappy 3D port. But maybe it was Avatar-esque. Corey? It wasn't. Uh, there was really a lot to be asked for here. There were scenes in the movie that weren't in 3D at all, and it hurts your eyes. To watch something that's not in 3D wearing 3D glasses. But you probably got the nice, beautiful color palette drained of all life and energy because... Circle of life. It's circle of death. Oh, nice. That's what it was. Not a lot needs to be said about The Lion King. Obviously, a great story, uh, great animation, and, and really good music. However, the 3D just adds a little bit of complexity that didn't need to be there at all. I'm going to file this under movies that didn't need to be made. So if you're thinking of grabbing the kids, packing up the old minivan, and checking it out over the weekend, you can't. Because it's not theaters anymore. Making this review entirely useless. You're welcome. So if it does come out on Blu-ray in 3D, you would recommend skipping that uh, $40 purchase? The Blu-ray version is going to be great. Obviously, really vivid colors. You know, if you have a nice big uh, plasma or LCD TV, it's going to look awesome. However, 3D, not so great. I don't even think they come out with 3D movies anymore. Do they even care? No. Here's a question for you, C-Dub. If your boy Aladdin made it to 3D next year, would you go to it? I wouldn't. I... I would stay away from 3D movies altogether, and I think, uh, obviously, Transformers and some of those probably ruined it for me already, but I'd be really excited for it to be in Blu-ray, and I think that's that's where Lion King was going. It was going to be a big Blu-ray release. They decided to do a really limited v- uh, theater showing in 3D, but uh, at the end of the day, they're going to make their money on the Blu-ray. Well, there you go, fence-sitters. If you were questioning whether or not Lion King was a good movie, Corey just confirmed that it is. <laughs> So Lion King on Blu-ray comes out on October 4th, and definitely go pick that up. However, if you do get a chance, if it's still in a theater around you, skip it. Wait for it on the disc, pick it up, it's, you're going to save a lot of money that way. A lot of heartache, really. <laughs> More than just reviews, this Movie Feuds presents Real-Time Reviews. Heartache. I like sitting next to you. Oh. I got a question for a C dub. If Aladdin your boy came out in theater, <laughs> Aladdin your boy. <laughs> Here's a question for a C dub. If your boy Aladdin went to 3D in theaters next year, would you go to it? <laughs> in theaters. <laughs> if your boy Aladdin went to 3D theaterified.